Good morning everyone. It is about six in the morning. I've been up since 5.30 or something. I'm on my way to spin class at Cycle on Mortimer Street because it's my friend Rosanna's 100th ride. So we're all celebrating. So basically um, she's been going to Cycle for a long time and um, yeah, she's done 100 rides and they you kind of celebrate when you get to um, the gold 100. So yeah, it should be a really fun morning. Not gonna lie, it was a struggle to wake up this morning. And I'm just gonna get a bus there. It's so easy to get a bus and I much prefer getting a bus to the tube because you can actually do work and stuff at the top. And my bus is here right now. Selfridges. It is a hideous day. It's raining, it's dark, <laughs> it's cold. But I feel like doing a spin class is a great way to start your morning because it's so energetic, like it's crazy. It's like being in a nightclub, it's brilliant. One of the rare occasions you can actually see Oxford Circus when it's quiet. So I've made it to cycle. Let's go downstairs, got my shoes. I've just picked up a chocolate protein shake from Cycle. Time to go home. So I'm back home now. It was such a fun morning. I love starting the day off like that. I've decided to have a bath and I can't even tell you the last time I had a bath. I always just have showers first thing in the morning. Um, but it's so cold and I feel like I've done spin class. It would be great to have a nice soothing bath. I don't know. So I'm gonna do that. And um, I also just wanted to say thank you so, so much for your response on yesterday's Vlogmas about my kind of, I don't know, when I was just talking about, you know, the homeless and um, how we can help. The comments are just so, so lovely, like so genuinely kind. And I think it's so amazing when we all come together like this and just put our hearts together and try to do something. So thank you, I've been reading your comments. Um, I know I don't reply to every single comment. I do try obviously to reply to comments, but um, I don't reply to every single one, but I read them, I honestly do. I'm reading all of your comments and thank you. So I'm really, really, really pleased um, you liked my video. So yeah, just wanted to say that. So I'm going to be using this Rituals. It's the Cherry Blossom and Rice Milk Relaxing Bath Foam. And then also this one is by the Aromatherapy Associates. It's a de-stress muscle Himalayan bath salt. So yeah, that'd be nice. I haven't used these in forever. Oh, and I've also, oh no, just dropped my phone in the sink. I've also got my bass speaker up here. I'm listening to the Great British Breakfast playlist on Spotify and it's so good. That felt like such a treat, having a bath in the morning. Loved it, I'm definitely gonna try that out more. Um, I, today, think I'm going to go shopping to get my last couple of presents, but before I do that, I basically want to go through everything that I already have, because I have in the past like doubled up on presents by mistake, because I did start getting like a few bits and bobs here and there quite early, and I can't remember what they were or who they were for. So I've basically got my notebook here. This is Zoella's note, note pad, would you call this? Yeah, note, notebook. Um, and I'm basically just going to make a list of every single present that I already have, and then I'm going to take that shopping with me so that I know who I need to buy for and who I definitely do not need to buy for anymore. These are all of the presents. Oh, oh no, actually I've just realized this sack is actually my clothes for charity. So it's actually that stuff. I've got to be so careful that I can't show any presents because people that are watching might spot something that's for them. Oh, I forgot I bought that. That can go down here. Oh, I can show these. I bought these for Joe's parents' dogs. So they're called Ronnie and Sally, and you put like little dog treats in them. They're personalized. So cute. I got these at Selfridges. And one for Daisy May, like a proper little stocking. 
Right, I've gone through presents. I know exactly what I need to get. It's actually more than I thought, which isn't good. But um, I'm hoping to go out this afternoon and actually try and get most of that done. I've got a list of, like a shopping list here, of fruit and veg that I need to buy. Joe and I are going to his university friend's house on Sunday afternoon for like a lovely little Christmassy afternoon. And, um, we're each, every couple is cooking something. So I'm going to cook my shepherd's pie from my book. So I need to go out today to the food market to get the ingredients. So it's all ready for the weekend because I don't want to worry about like running out and buying all of that then. So I'm gonna do that. Then I also, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna go over, I think I'm gonna go to Westfields um, to try and get these last minute presents. I guess it's not last minute. We've actually got loads of time. We've got over a week but I just want to get everything done this week. <laughs> so here's the fruit and veg market. Loads of choice. Okay, I'm gonna get on with my order now here. <laughs> Some chestnut mushrooms. And can I grab a few more actually? So thank you. Yeah. All right, darling, 220. Can I also grab some of these potatoes? About, yeah. I love it around here. It's so random. <laughs> I realised I forgot a couple of bits, so I need to get some more at a different place. The sky behind me is so good. I forgot to show you my bag. So this is the bag that I use to go out and get my groceries. Like, well, just to the market. I just think it's so important to like reuse bags and stuff. So whenever I'm going to a supermarket or just the food market outside, I always try and take my own life long bags what are they called long lasting bags life bags i don't know but i always try and take them because it's just so bad to always get new plastic bags and you need to pay for them now anyway so you might as well take your own shall i do a real quick haul of what i bought bought some dog sweets there should be another one in here somewhere this is for ronnie and sally where's the other one huh I thought I bought two. Um, I bought some chestnuts, oh, I just love them. Like those roasted with some carrots and stuff in the oven. I also bought some oat milk, just fancy to change from almond milk. And then I got like parsnips, carrots, pears, bananas, potatoes. There's mushrooms, there's garlic in there, some fresh thyme. Amazing, this is for time. Oh no, oh and I got avocados, they were so ripe. <gasps> They're perfect quick hair and hat change <laughs> just ran home obviously to take all my shopping back and now I'm on my way to the bus stop to get the bus to Westfields <laughs> um, I'm actually slightly dreading this because I was thinking great I'll say Friday afternoon to get the last of my Christmas shopping done because it's obviously midweek but it's one week until Christmas I think it's gonna be packed a really weird sounding oh my god it's a squirrel can you see it it's making like a weird noise if you can't see it it's right there oh no now it's really zoomed in on my face how do i zoom out it's not zooming out <laughs> one sec <laughs> okay that's much better you do not want to see a close-up of my face I feel a bit weird in this hat. I feel like it's a bit bunchy. I don't know, maybe it's because my hair's in a plait. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, how cute was that squirrel? I've never heard a squirrel make that noise. I thought there was like a bird in the tree stuck or something. Not that a bird would be stuck in a tree. Maybe the squirrel's stuck in a tree. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So far, so good. Successful sh shopping trip. I've only been here for like half an hour, but I've already got my cousin Winter done. Um, and then my managers, which is good. And I feel like I've got some ideas as well for the others, so I'm gonna like power through this. I'm just in the coach store. So pretty. Everything just looks so nice. <laughs> I feel like I keep doing this in my vlogs. I keep catching myself in the mirror. <laughs> I'm loving these bags. Look, you've got the dinosaurs on them. So adorable. It's actually not too busy here. I was definitely expecting it to be worse. This is the kind of shopping that I like. I can't handle it when there's loads of people around. Okay, I've 
I've done most of my Christmas shopping now and I thought I would just pop into Zara to find a dress for the Gleam Christmas party on Monday. Just realised I've got nothing to wear. I've just come into Warehouse and I spotted this dress. I just tried it on and it's so nice. So I've just bought it. So that's going to be my dress for Monday. I've had a sneak peek there of what I'm wearing. <laughs> Back home now after a successful shopping trip. I haven't had lunch yet and it's three o'clock. I'm just having a snack. I'm having these Nan's gluten-free oat cakes. I always get them just because they're a bit of a staple to have. And then this hummus that I bought at the market. Was that yesterday? Day before yesterday. <laughs> when did I go to the market? I can't remember, but I bought this chickpea hummus. This is the herby hummus. And it's got, what's in here? Chickpeas, tahini, um, parsley, spinach and all the other usuals. I love it, it's so, so good. I love little bookshops like this. So adorable. I'm quite excited about what I just bought. I went to Planet Organic just to get Tanya and Jim some Booja Booja truffles because they are so great um, for the party later tonight. And then, where can I sit so I can show you? So, just went to Planet Organic and I was just walking past one of the aisles trying to find the chocolate and I saw this. And it's a glass germinator and it's basically where you can sprout things. So, obviously sprouting, ooh, this is not what I expected, that's so cool. Sprouting seeds and stuff is really, really good for you. It's like, you know when you get, um, those kind of sprouts on your salad they're so so good for you and they're really easy to make at home but I've always been a little bit scared because I, I just don't quite understand like how you do it I've been told that all you do is like soak soak things in water or whatever but I think this will just make me feel a lot more confident about it because there's literally a box and you can read what to do on the box it tells you the instructions on the back there so I'm gonna give this a go it says so you put, oh I bought the sachet as well, so I bought alfalfa sprouts here, that's what they look like, and they're literally just like seeds. It looks like you just pour these alfalfa seeds into the jar. Shall I do this in the kitchen? Let's actually like do this right now. Okay, I think I got this. The instructions are in here, and I just need to pour these seeds into it. No, 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 I got that wrong already. No, I don't do that. I need to rinse these seeds before I put them in here. Okay, I'm gonna do that step right now, otherwise I'm gonna forget. Sit. I'm scared then they're all gonna fall out the sieve because they're tiny, these seeds. Okay, now these seeds that I've just soaked go straight into the jar. Okay, now it says fill the, up with water to just cover the seeds but then it says allow the water to drain out again immediately hmm. okay so maybe they're not they don't get through the sieve so okay I'm gonna fit the sieve on the top there we go there's the sieve oh no this could go horribly wrong I feel like they're all gonna come out oh, okay they're not Oh, that's all right. Oh yeah, they are. A couple came out. A couple just came out. <laughs> okay, that really didn't quite work. It told me to do that again. So I filled it all with water, drained it all out, but loads of the seeds came out the top because the sieve is like too big for the tiny little seeds. And now it says to turn the whole jar upside down and let the whole thing like drain off. But all the seeds are just gonna come out. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with now. We are up to here. Place the germinator on a dish with the sieve pointing downwards. Right, like that, yeah? I'm guessing that's what that's for. At an angle to allow any remaining water to drain off. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. And then it says, leave for three to seven days and then you'll get loads of sprouts. I've just realized three to seven days. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> I'm going back to Brighton next week. I'm gonna have to bring this with me. This is gonna have to sit in the passenger seat of the car with me, isn't it? And keep it really safe so I get my sprouts, hopefully. It's not looking promising. 
um, but I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> Right, I'm all ready and dressed for Tanya and Jim's Christmas party. I've been looking forward to this for such a long time. I feel like I don't get to hang out with these guys enough. So it should be a really, really lovely night. Seeing everyone, having a catch up, having a drink. Um, my jumpsuit that I'm wearing, it's like this wide leg jumpsuit. It's so cool. It's by a brand called Joni. Joni Clothing in London. Um, does not go with this jacket at all, but I'm not gonna go out without a coat. This one is just by Topshop. And then I've also got my lovely little Roman coin necklace. This is by Misoma, Misoma London. And then my earrings are by Wanderlust. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I've got a car outside, so I better get going. All of this food looks amazing. Mince pies, gingerbread houses, everything. So we've had an accident with the uh, stuff that uh, had the glass. That's fine. Uh, 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 Joey made it. Jim and Tanya have the nicest house. So lovely. This is my outfit. Do you like it? Let's go get some pizza. Okay, Joe wants pizza. Pizza. Go and get pizza. All this pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you eat all the pizza, and I'm just sticking to oat cakes and hummus. Oh yeah. Oh, Tom, I'm so forever. I know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for hosting this incredible party. You look great. Merry Christmas, everyone. Good night, everyone. I had such a lovely evening. It was so great to see people that I hadn't seen in such a long time. Um, I'm going to go to sleep now and tomorrow is Saturday. What am I doing tomorrow? Joe and I are going to the football and we've got a lovely evening planned with his family so yeah tomorrow will be great. I really hope you've enjoyed watching today's vlog and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>